Hello, again it's Daniel. I was on my way to the countryside driving, decided to spend some time in nature, and take most of my days off from work. It is early September, the night before we have a nice rain and there is not too much heat outside. This is nice weather to spend some time in nature. While driving my wife noticed some mushrooms alongside the road. It was this species, Swillus granulatus, from Latin. And I thought to myself if they are present maybe we can find another species as well. This species is edible but it takes longer time to prepare than the ones I was looking for. I was hoping to find, Ammonitis caesarea, because it is tastier and easier to find. Because of its color, it can be more easily noticed from a distance. So I parked my car and it was time for a walk in the forest. Time spent in nature can be calming experience if we only have time to look around and appreciate it. Hear the leaves beneath our feet, and hear the wind gliding through the forest leaves. I bet this is a luxury that not everyone can afford. The mushrooms that I'm looking for can be found in oak forests. The terrain can be steep but I have grown up in this place and I have no problems. While walking I started to encounter some mushrooms, not the ones I need, but at least we are on the right path. You cannot see them from a distance because mushrooms are similar in color to the leaves. You have to pay extra attention because there are some similarities between edibles and poisonous mushrooms. Usually, the red color is a warning and means bad. After 10 minutes of walking, I found, Boletus, a young very tasty mushroom. It can be prepared in many different ways, which I will be showing you later in this video. If you want to learn something new today stick till the end of the video. You can also give it a like, or subscribe, because why not? A few hundred meters deep into the forest I found another Boletus mushroom, this one is a bit older but still edible. When we get home we will be slicing it to see what we should do with it. Along the way, I have found some more of these, Swillus granulatus, mushrooms but I have decided this time I will be ignoring them because they need more time and effort to make edible. It is worth it in the end but still, I was determined to see if I can find the mushrooms with a Roman emperor in his name. This patch of forest have ended and at the clearing, I noticed some of the forest newspaper. My dad is a hunter and he taught me how to read them. I have found doings of wild pigs in their search for food. I have noticed this is not doing of a single pig but probably mother with her piglets. At this place, forests have been cut down a few years ago and we can see young sprouts emerging from the ground. This kind of terrain sometimes can be rich in mushrooms because there are a lot of decaying branches rotting and nourishing the soil. 
The main source of heat in my city is firewood, and I cannot blame people it is the most cost-effective method of heating your home for many. I have made an effort to offset some of the cost required to heat my home in one of my videos. Which link you will be finding in this video description below. I have read some more of the forest news. I have noticed an ant nest destroyed probably by a badger. I have seen a freshly destroyed hornet's nest the size of a basketball, nearby, but I dare not to be standing close next to it. Because I was on my way to find mushrooms. And it was time to adjust my pathing because I noticed that somebody already was walking here before me and probably gathered them before me. There are plenty of mushrooms in the forest. And don't be a fool to pick everything you have found. Sometimes the poison from one shroom can go to another that is not poisonous. So don't put everything in your bag if you are not completely sure what are you doing. My father has a nice joke about this. He says all mushrooms are edible. The only difference is that some can be eaten many times and other ones you can eat only once. Drop a like if you find this funny. I was going deeper into the forest and finally, I found what I was looking for I found a real gem. The root name of this mushroom contains the word for egg in his name and I couldn't agree more with that. It looks like a fried whole egg. I cleared it a bit and it was time to pick it. Near this one, I found another one. A few days older. Luckily, I have learned how to prepare them and how preserve them for a prolonged period. If you are not sure if the mushrooms are edible you can tell by looking if some forest creatures have on them or not. Usually, edible mushrooms are eaten by slugs, centipedes, turtles, ants, moths, and what not else. A good choice is to consult with someone that has been preparing them. After a bit more walking I have found the queen of all mushrooms. Just looks how magnificent this is. A real beauty. My search was over I was happy that my forest walk was not for nothing and I have found what I was looking for. Along the way, I found some more mushrooms and started to notice that my bag was gaining weight. I have been picking a handful of mushrooms because often you can find them growing in groups. And since of this color, you can be sure you can see it from afar. I hope I give you an insight into my day and what it is like to be in the forest and pick mushrooms. A nice walk in the forest plus half a bag of mushrooms. This day starts to become very much worthwhile. It was a nice change from a computer screen, and I have trained my eyes to see the most camouflaged ones. And not to make wrong choices. Because mushroom poisoning can be fatal. I was starting to make a full circle into the forest and I noticed where a few doe have been laying around. That was the last of the forest newspaper for today and I was heading home. For a two hour walk, I found around two kilograms of mushrooms, and I have decided to go again the next morning. This is today's harvest. On the way home, we found some additional mushrooms, and this will have to do for today. Now it is time to clean them, the young mushrooms will be washed and the older ones will have to be peeled it because their skin contains laxative substances.
once all edible mushrooms are clean from dirt and washed. We will be boiling them for 45 minutes in a salinated solution of 100 grams of salt on 1 liter of water. And 1 Lamontis. When they are ready we have to rinse them with cold water. Cold water makes them preserve their form and not fall apart since they became very soft while boiling. The next step is to keep them in brine. We prepare this by mixing 3.2 liter of water with 1 kilogram of salt. This solution prevents microorganisms to grow and this can be kept for weeks. Boiled mushrooms then soak thoroughly. Mushrooms that had worms inside and the handles will be sliced into thin pieces and then we will be drying them in the sun. Once dried they can be sold or they can be used as spices for soups and stews in wintertime. The next day we gathered some more mushrooms and this time we found another species Macrolipiota procaro. We will wash them and deep fry them for breakfast because they are much more gentle we will not be conserving them together with the other two species. Just like yesterday we need to clean them. Wash them. And boil them for 45 minutes in a salinated solution. I will give you small tip at this step. If you are not sure if you have picked the correct mushrooms, or you have just mistaken one for the others, you can add whole white onion to each boiling. If there is a presence of mushroom poison the onion will change its color. When boiled we will be washing them with cold water and we will be adding them to the brine for a good soaking. The ones that have holes in their cups and handles will be sliced and we will be drying me in the sun for a few days. To preserve the mushrooms for more than a few weeks, we will be putting them into jars. We fill our jars and add water. They need to be boiled for 15 minutes at least and make sure water covers the entire jar while boiling. In two days we managed to fill around 20 jars of mushrooms.
if I was going to work that two days earning I would be buying only two jars. This got me thinking about why we abandon this way of life. You see nature provides us with abundance it is in our grasp just we need to reach it. Forest fruits, exotic spices, teas, mushrooms, fruits and vegetables. We truly need to reconsider our modern way of life. Not to follow blindly into every new trend. Sometimes keeping to the traditions help us to find out who we truly are, and do things that make us happy. I truly hope that we learned something today, and if you do enjoy it please leave a like. And I will be seeing you in the next one.